In 2010, after LeBron James created his new big three in Miami, Kobe Bryant felt like he couldn't compete. So a trade to send Chris Paul to the Lakers was accepted, which would have created a superstar duo. Unfortunately though, David Stern vetoed the trade, not allowing it to happen. Today we'll be going through the greatest NBA trades that almost happened. In 2007, before Kevin Garnett joined the Boston Celtics, there were talks about him joining the Suns. So that's what we're going to do, creating a cool duo of him and Steve Nash. As this duo starts training camp, it's clear they could be the team to stop Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. And even though Kevin Garnett is starting to exit his prime, he plays great, averaging 21 points and bringing Phoenix the defense they need. Nash continuing to prove himself as the best playmaker in the NBA. Round one would be very easy for the Suns because Nash and Kevin Garnett click perfectly. And with a young Amari Stoudemire beginning to enter his prime, they take down the Clippers in five, going up against Carmelo Anthony and the Nuggets in round two. And this Suns team looks great as they completely ball out, taking a solid 3-2 lead. Game six will go down to the final minute. Let's see how good this trio is. They are very good on paper. The question is if they can mesh in a late game situation. And he throws a turnover. Nice. Good stuff. Carmelo Anthony is at the peak of his game, of course. Great pass to Nene as he finishes a tough layup. Here comes, ooh, Raja Bell. Pull up, midi, big shot, misses. Great defense from the Nuggets to stop them. Carmelo Anthony driving inside for the easy floater, and it's a two-possession game. Amari Stoudemire is going to come set a big one, and Steve Nash rises as he misses. Great rebound from Amari Stoudemire as he puts in a dunk. Iverson driving in on Steve Nash. Tough shot, great defense from Nash. Leading the fast break crossover. Garnett drives inside for the and one. Driving in. Nice move, beautiful move as he hits the bounce. Shot clock is basically turned off. It's a point six separation. This is so ridiculously stupid. Steve Nash, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's almost stolen, whose ball is that? Looks like they're gonna inbound it and win the game. Phoenix has no timeouts. Half a second to hoist one up. He doesn't even get it off in time. The Nuggets will be forcing a massive game seven. And this winner go home game will go down to the final shot. I'm not really sure why. Carmelo Anthony is the best player on this team, but Iverson driving in as he misses the layup. That was a weird bounce. Has possession out to Steve Nash. Lob, it's stolen. That was a terrible pass. Steve Nash has been throwing horrible dimes. Iverson driving inside, finishes the lefty layup. It's a tie game. Garnett chilling on the perimeter. Steve Nash misses. Iverson spins inside, misses. Nash looking to make a move on J.R. Smith. He does. Great move. Steve Nash with a beautiful layup. Why is Iverson not passing it to Melo? I don't understand what I'm watching. I mean, I'll take it. I want the Suns to win this. Barbosa driving inside, misses. A lot of misses late in the game. Melo driving inside finishes the layup we got a tie game once again here we go nash is going to be taking this big shot he's got iverson on him eight seconds here seven seconds here nash picks up his dribble four seconds spins nash for the win buckets it's still not over yet though there's 2.3 seconds remaining iverson free midi knocks it down and we are headed to overtime. That was horrendous defense. Sadly, in overtime, it's the Nuggets who pull away and end the Sun season early. And it's clear in 2009 that the window is slowly closing in for this team to win a ring as Garnett drops to a 93 with Nash falling to a 90. And the drop in overall is accurate as Garnett's stats take a slight hit, but he is still fitting into his role perfectly. And luckily, so is Steve Nash. And even though Kevin Garnett and Steve Nash are beginning to slowly exit their prime, they are still definitely contenders in the Western Conference, playing great against the Timberwolves as they beat Garnett's old team in five games. Once again, playing Carmelo Anthony and the Denver Nuggets. And the Suns still have the upper hand, even after losing in the prior season, as they hold a 2-1 lead. Game four will go down to the wire. Three-point game, a minute and 16 seconds. Melo bringing it up. 
Nene hits the screen. Here comes Melo driving, misses. Nene is there for the rebound, but he misses as well. Steve Nash with it. Pull up midi, right away misses. Carmelo Anthony in the corner, driving. It's blocked by Kevin Garnett. Chauncey Billups with it, four seconds on the shot clock. They're gonna have to force up a tough shot. Billups misses. Carmelo Anthony's there for the rebound though. Oh my goodness. Second chance opportunity. It's stolen by Steve Nash. Feed it to Garnett, please. Oh my God. Oh my God, Steve Nash. You are selling in the clutch. You're definitely not gonna win this tip. There's no shot. That is so annoying. 10 seconds here left for the Nuggets. J.R. Smith contested three pointer misses. And so the Suns take a huge 3-1 lead. Going back home and completely dominate the Denver Nuggets finally reaching the Western Conference Finals. In order to make the finals, they'll have to stop Kobe and the Lakers. And it's clear, Kobe Bryant has way more playoff experience than Steve Nash and Kevin Garnett as they hold a stellar 3-2 lead. Game six will be a Kobe Bryant masterclass. Kevin Garnett sets a screen. Nash driving inside, puts in the layup. It's a two point game. Kobe inside, forces his way up, misses. Amari Stoudemire has a huge mismatch. He can take it up by himself. Amari draws the foul. Kobe in the post. Post hook misses. Phoenix has a chance now. Out to Richardson. Good pass to Kevin Garnett. Garnett misses the layup. Amari Stoudemire is tear for the putback layup. 11 second separate shot clock and game clock. Another massive possession here for the Lakers. Kobe immediately rises for three and knocks it down. Taking a one point lead. That was a bold shot from Kobe Bryant. Amari Sadamara is going to come set a screen. It's a classic pick and roll. Good pass to Amari. Taugasol playing some great lockdown defense. Amari Sadamara misses the open layup. They have a second chance though. Nash this time. Three seconds. We have to put up a shot. What is this? Nash for the win. Misses. And the Lakers take out the Suns in the conference finals. The offseason would see KG drop to a 91, with Steve Nash falling to an 89 with age. And it's clear this duo doesn't have much more time as the 2010s approach. Either way, Garnett is still up for the challenge, and both these all-time greats want their hands on an NBA championship, where in true Phoenix Suns fashion, they cruise through the second round without breaking a sweat. However, Kobe is up next in round two, where this series is all tied up. Game five will go down to the final minute and a half. Fisher on him, Amari Stoudemire is gonna come set a big body. Nash, a deep three, it's missed. Kobe might be unstoppable still in 2010. Kobe Bryant, open three, misses, thank God. To Kevin Garnett, Garnett inside, layup is good. And they have a two-point lead. Suns have a lead. It could be looking good for them. Lamar Odom's going to drive inside and finish the layup with ease. Is it really going to be him? Amari Stoudemire cutting. It's stolen by Pau Gasol. They're not going to call a timeout because Kobe has a wide-open dunk. Four seconds here. Last chance opportunity for the Lakers. Nash pulls a deep three. And knocks down the biggest shot of the night. That might be the game. Because of Steve Nash's huge bucket, the Suns take a massive 3-2 lead. And so they finally take a lead against Kobe and the Lakers and shut them out in a game six blowout, reaching the conference finals in back-to-back -back seasons. But Kobe will definitely end up getting an amazing teammate very soon. But we'll save that for later because the Suns are facing off first Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs where the Suns are looking amazing and have a strong shot at reaching the finals as they hold a 3-2 lead. But the Spurs refuse to give up late in game six. The Suns are looking to make their first finals appearance since 1993. With the help of Kevin Garnett, it's very possible, but this Spurs team is stacked. Amari Stoudemire misses the layup, grabs his own rebound and misses yet again. Steve Nash and Tony Parker is a great matchup and so is Kevin Garnett and Tim Duncan. Great defense from KG. Kevin, Gar Kevin Garnett's gonna set a screen. Barbosa gets a good look for the mid-range. It's a one-point game. Timmy e. D in the post. Tough shot. It's missed. Kevin Garnett, a big rebound. And here comes the Phoenix Suns. Out to Stoudemire. 
Stoudemire into Barbosa now, and he draws a foul into Tim Duncan. Good defense from KG as Tim Duncan gets the and one. Tim Duncan misses a free throw, surprisingly. Last chance opportunity. Steve Nash hit a big one against the Lakers. Can he do it again? Oh, my God. Never mind. The One of the greatest passers of all time just throws a turnover. Makes so much sense. Nash, 10 seconds. He might just pull a quick one. Misses. It's contested. Tim Duncan hauls in the rebound. And so the Spurs force a massive game seven. This winner go home game going down to the final minute. Tony Parker on him. Garnett chilling in the corner. He cuts in. It's stolen by Tim Duncan. Another late game turnover. And here comes Tony Parker finishing the layup. Tony Parker playing great defense. Screen comes. Steve Nash rises. Misses. Amari Stoudemire. Huge rebound. Garnett goes right up with it and misses himself. Barbosa on him. Spins. Great defense. is blocked by Bar Garnett. But Tim Duncan gets the layup to go. Down three. Great move inside. Steve Nash. That's beautiful. Tim Duncan, he's going to come receive it. He's going to set a screen. Parker, great pass to Timmy D. That is textbook. Phoenix needs a three. They might go for two. Nice move, KG. No timeouts once again for the Suns. They need a three. Maybe they can get a prayer. Steve Nash, a Stoudemire. Back to Nash. Contested three. Pointer misses. And so the Phoenix Suns will once again fall short of reaching the NBA Finals. As we enter the 2010s era, a championship will keep getting harder because Garnett is now a 90 overall and Nash is officially out of his prime at an 87. And for both Steve Nash and Kevin Garnett, this might be the last opportunity for them to win a title as they cruise through the Houston Rockets in five games, facing off first Dirk and the Dallas Mavericks where the Suns hold a steady 3-2 lead. Game six, will go down to the wire. Nash with it, a minute and five seconds here. This is probably their last chance to make a finals run. Into Amari, he misses the layup. Two seconds, tough. Oh, great block from Amari Stoudemire. And here comes the Suns. 14 seconds, separate shot on game clock. Steve Nash pulls a quick mid-range. Big time shot for Steve Nash. Jason Kidd with it, Steve Nash driving in. Can't find a good defense from the Suns. Out to Jason Terry. Oh my God, he's wide open, he misses. Thank God he choked. Here is Jason Kidd, 13 seconds. They really need a three. That's the only way they can come back in this. Terry pulls one, misses. Garnett, the big rebound. And so the Suns once again reach the final four and have a chance to get their revenge against Tim Duncan and the Spurs as they hold a 2-1 lead. Game four would be very close. Steve Nash into Amari. Tim Duncan on him, big possession here. Tough shot is blocked by Tim Duncan. Parker. Driving inside, gets an easy let, misses, what a choke. Here comes Jason Richardson now, down the other end on the fast break. Great pass to Grant Hill, who finishes a slam dunk. They have a one point lead. Splitter is gonna come set a screen and roll. Great pass, easy slam dunk. Steve Nash, five seconds, out to Kevin Garnett now. Jason Richardson in the corner, one second. Tough shot is good. With .3 of a second remaining. And the Suns take a 3-1 lead. As they go back home, continuing their momentum, blowing out the San Antonio Spurs in Game 5. And for the first time, Kevin Garnett and Steve Nash have reached the NBA Finals. In order to win, though, they'll have to beat LeBron James and this brand new Big 3 in Miami. Whereas expected, the Miami Heat are far more talented, and LeBron is in his all-out prime as they hold a steady 3-2 lead. Game six will go down to the wire. Tie game in this fourth quarter, the first NBA Finals the Suns have been in, and they have to play one of the best teams of all time. Great block from Amari Stoudemire to start. Can the Suns force a massive game seven? Great pass to Amari as he gets the slam dunk. Screen is set from Big Z and they go to LeBron. LeBron James in the post spins. Great move. He might be unstoppable. He's in his all-out prime. Another great pass to Amari Stoudemire. He's having a field day. Wade might be taking the big shot here. Big Z's going to come set a screen. Wade, 4-3. Buckets! Taking the lead with 20 seconds remaining. Driving in. Can't find it. 13. Pull up midi. Nash misses. Come on. Miss one. LeBron, miss one. Brick one, misses one, 
No timeouts for the Suns. Two point game. Three seconds. Get off a good shot. What are you doing, Nash? What are you doing? And the Miami Heat take down the Suns where it looks like Kevin Garnett joining them is still not going to help them win a championship. Finally, it's time to see Chris Paul drafted to the Lakers, creating an unstoppable duo in the West. And as we enter training camp, some fans wish that David Stern vetoed this trade. And it's clear that Chris Paul is the dominant playmaker that Kobe Bryant needs as they both make all NBA teams in 2012. The Lakers playoff run starts exactly how fans expected, as they dominate in the first round, taking out the Dallas Mavericks in a quick and easy five games, continuing to breeze through a strong Western Conference, where Kobe is more determined than ever to win his sixth ring and tie Michael Jordan, only dropping two games as they beat the Grizzlies to reach the conference finals. Going up against an amazing trio in Oklahoma City, where this young Thunder team clearly doesn't have the same experience as Kobe Bryant, as they hold a steady 3-2 lead, and Kobe has a chance to make the NBA Finals late in Game 6. Can't find it. Inside, Kobe Bryant misses. I lo I'd love to see how this duo does together. It should be really interesting. Westbrook. With Chris Paul on him, they're looking to reach the finals. Westbrook pulls a three and misses himself. Here's Ron Artest with it right out to CP3. Chris Paul, his mid-range is good off the bounce, tying up the game. Westbrook drives inside. Great block from Pau Gasol, but Westbrook grabs it and puts in the layup. Big possession here for the Lakers. Inside, big shot. He's good for Kobe Bryant. He's hype. I'm surprised Kevin Durant's not handling a lot of these possessions. I feel like it would be him. Here's Westbrook, those spins. Inside on Chris Paul, misses the layup, but he has free throws coming. Chris Paul has possession. 10 seconds separate shot on game clock. He goes right to Kobe, who has Durant on him. Into this guy who misses the layup. I don't know why Kobe is passing it on those big shot opportunities. 20 seconds, down three. Big possession here for the Lakers. Will they go for three is the question. Kobe. Harden on him. Floater is missed. Wow. And so the Thunder Force Game 7, where this winner go home game goes down to the final minute. Pau Gasol sets the screen. Kobe rises and knocks it down. Big time three-pointer for the Mamba. Here is Ron Artest playing some great defense on KD as he misses the midi. Ron Artest with it. Out to Kobe now. Kobe driving. Another midi. It's good. He's beginning to take over late in the fourth quarter. A minute and 13 seconds, Kevin Durant with it. Ron Artest on him. Durant driving inside, draws a foul. Ooh, Durant missed a free throw, meaning it's still a tie game. Ron Artest coming off a screen. The Lakers hitting big shots in the clutch. Perfect defense, five seconds here. Westbrook on the perimeter, three seconds. Driving inside, it's blocked. Westbrook grabs his own rebound but it's a shot clock violation. This could be it for the Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe inside, misses, but they're gonna foul. What an offensive rebound. And Kobe is now one step closer to a six NBA ring, where we finally have a Kobe Bryant versus LeBron James NBA final. And this series will be very close, all tied up. Game five will be incredibly entertaining. Massive possession here Kobe driving inside misses the layup Wade though handling these possessions great pass to Joel Anthony and the heat tie up the game Kobe in the post against LeBron everybody wants to see this matchup LeBron playing great defense on Bryant right to his right hand man Wade another great pass but it's stolen and here comes Ron Artest three seconds here two seconds on the shot clock they gotta get a shot off it's Pau Gasol missing Kobe almost saves it from being out of bounds but that was the wrong move because LeBron has a free dunk down the other end. Last chance opportunity for the Lakers. Chris Paul hits the screen. It's going to be him taking this big shot. Never mind. He almost holds a turnover. Ron Artest contested. Completely wrong move 
at the end of the fourth quarter. As the Miami Heat head back home, LeBron is ready to ruin the party for Kobe Bryant as he takes home his second straight NBA championship. But before we continue with Kobe and CP3, in 2012, before Monte Ellis was traded to the Bucks, there were talks of sending Curry instead. So Steph is officially a Milwaukee Buck. Meanwhile, Kobe Bryant sadly drops to a 94 with age with Chris Paul actually rising to a 93. And even though Kobe is slowly getting older, he's still one of the best players in the league. And Chris Paul is looking to become the universal best point guard in the league. And in Steph's first season with the Bucks, he averages a very solid 19 points a game and is the definitive leader in Milwaukee. Sadly though, he cannot carry his team to the playoffs. But Kobe is still extremely hungry to tie his idol Michael Jordan in NBA championships as they once again cruise through the Sacramento Kings in a battle for California that really isn't much of a battle. Once again playing another solid team from California, where Chris Paul balls out against a team that he went to in real life, completely sweeping the Clippers, Well, they'll play a great duo in OKC. And once again, Kobe knows how to beat this Thunder team as they take a 3-2 lead, with Game 6 going down to the final minute. Chris Paul at the line, looking to make it a two-point game here in LA. Screen is set. Russell Westbrook spins, half spin. Chris Paul actually playing really solid defense here. Perfect defense, post fade away. Russell Westbrook hits it. That's a tough shot. Beatrice rises and knocks it down. We got a one-point game. Great defense. Here's Turner, tough shot, and he gets fouled. Kobe Bryant driving inside for the slam dunk Kevin Durant now on the perimeter he's gonna be super hard to stop eight seconds on the shot clock come on seven seconds to stop KD Kevin Durant steps back three-pointer pockets he might have just iced the game and so the Thunder Force game seven once again this game going down to the wire Lakers down two he's gonna go into Kobe Bryant Kobe in the post Tough shot, knocks it down. Durant now, he's basically unstoppable in the simulation as he drives in for an easy dunk. Doka into Bryant, pull up midi, good. Durant now, looking for a tough shot, misses. Kobe Bryant in the corner, pull up three, pointer, it's missed. Six seconds now. Durant looking for a big shot, inside. Gets a great look and misses. And it looks like we'll be heading to overtime. In overtime, the game still cannot be decided. 20 seconds remaining in overtime. Kobe Bryant has possession. Screen comes from Pau Gasol. Kobe drives and it's blocked. This might be the Lakers' last chance. Kobe wide open three-pointer. Here's Kevin Durant looking to end the Lakers. He's going to drive inside and get an easy slam dunk. What is that defense? Last chance opportunity. Kobe driving inside is blocked again and the Lakers season is over the offseason will be historical for the Milwaukee Bucks as they draft Giannis Antetokounmpo creating an amazing duo in Milwaukee and it's clear in the offseason that this duo could be a future dynasty and Giannis's rookie season starts off perfectly as he wins the rookie of the year in 2014 with Curry making his first all-star game as he averages almost 24 points a game. However, we are not done with Kobe Bryant, Chris Paul, and the Lakers because they are still definitely contenders in the Western Conference, where in back-to-back seasons, they shut down the Sacramento Kings. Sadly, the Bucks are not ready to take over quite yet as they lose to the Toronto Raptors. Either way, the Lakers continue their playoff run with a five-game series win versus the Pelicans going up against a stacked San Antonio Spurs team. And with the way Kobe Bryant is playing, it's obvious that in the back of his mind, this might be the last chance for him to win his sixth championship. Game four will go down to the wire. Pau Gasol sets a screen. Kobe driving inside, misses the layup. Looking for Tim, he doesn't find him. Nine seconds here, they go to Tim Duncan. Fakes pass, Tim Duncan inside, draws the foul. Get the ball out of Robert Sacre's hand. What is that? What is he doing? There's Tony Parker now. Chris Paul on him. Chris Paul driving in. It's stolen by the Lakers. Slow it down. They could ice the game on this possession if they want to. Pau Gasol. Kawhi reaches in. Looking for a huge bucket. Right into Tim Duncan. 
Who gets a free slam dunk? Tim Duncan looking for the cut. Doesn't get it. Tony Parker, 12 seconds. Out to Boris Diaw. His three-pointer. Bang! He knocks it down with 9.7 seconds remaining. This could be one of the biggest shots of Kobe's career. He's already 36, and he's still taking these big shots. Kobe, contested midi, misses. And we are headed to overtime unless that goes in. Thank God. In overtime, it's the San Antonio Spurs who pull away and tie up the series. However, luckily, the Lakers would ball out in game five at home, taking a huge 3-2 lead. But the Spurs won't give up late in game six. Eubanks, Chris Paul now, four seconds here. Big possession, step back. What a move from Chris Paul, that is beautiful. Come on, let's get a stop. I wanna see Kobe back in the NBA Finals. No matter how old he is, I still believe in him. Oh my God, it's right into Tim Duncan's hands as he gets a free and easy dunk. Just under a minute remaining, Pau Gasol sets the screen. Here's CP3, great pass to Sacri, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Chris Paul's putting on a clinic late in the fourth quarter. It's so hard against the Spurs team. They're a great team. Tim Duncan cutting again. Play some good defense. Pass out to Timmy. Good defense, Zachary. Get a rebound. How do you not get the rebound over Tony Parker? Back to CP3. Eight seconds on the clock. Oh, that's a good move. Inside is blocked by Tim Duncan. And here comes the Spurs. They have a fast break opportunity. Tony Parker taking it inside. He's going to hold it down for the last shot. TP inside misses one second remaining in this one can they get a decent shot off with one second to go is the question kobe kind of open for three for the win oh my god i thought that was hitting in overtime the game still cannot be decided doesn't take the i thought he was taking that post fadeaway for sure i think kobe's gonna take one instead out to chris paul chris paul inside it's good keeping the lakers in the game Tim Duncan cutting, it's another free. Layup, oh my god, Timmy missed! But gets his own rebound and dunks it. Three point game, here's Pau Gasol. I feel like they need a three. Kobe's gonna take a midi and hit it. They're still very much in the game. Play good defense, we should play Pau Gasol on him at this point, I don't know why we still have him. He's gonna get another free cut. Good defense, please stop him. No, why'd they call a foul? Timmy's gonna knock both of these down, I can already see the future. Oh, he missed one. I don't feel like going to double overtime. I think, Jacoby, you should just hit a three for the win. He's doing it. No, that's off. I could already tell that was off. The Spurs forced game seven. In this close game, it might be the last chance for Kobe and the Lakers. Kobe, pull up, midi. Big shot. He's good. It's now a two-possession game. Play some good defense. I know it's been tough on you, Sacri. Uh, okay, draws the foul. He's really just putting on a clinic right now. Kobe Bryant driving inside, draws a foul. 18 seconds here, Tim Duncan looking for the cut. He gets it and finishes a quick layup. Screen comes, Kobe Bryant. Biggest three of the night is good. That just might be the icing on the cake. And so Kobe Bryant and CP3 have reached their second NBA final together. Well, for a second time, they'll go up against LeBron, Wade, Bosch, and the Miami Heat. And as Wade begins to decrease in overall due to his age and injuries, this is finally Kobe Bryant's chance to tie Michael Jordan championships. They have a small lead in game six. Here's LeBron James down four, under a minute remaining now in this game. He's going to drive inside. Tough layup is good. Bryant, great pass into Sacre as he draws a foul. Still a two-possession game. We're so close to seeing Kobe win his sixth championship. Here we go. Screen comes. Chalmers driving inside. It's blocked by Sacre. And the Heat foul. One stop and it's done. One stop and it's over. Spins. Wade out to LeBron. Pau Gasol playing good defense. Hands up. Don't foul. Great defense, Pau Gasol. And so the trade for Chris Paul has paid off. And Kobe Bryant has won his sixth NBA championship. After Kobe Bryant and Chris Paul received their championship rings, it's time to focus more on the Bucks as Steph rises to a 90 overall and Giannis reaches an 84. And there is officially a new dynasty brewing in Milwaukee and quite possibly a new face of the league because in 2015, Stephen Curry is now the league's MVP. With Giannis slowly but surely falling into his role as a defensive anchor and the second scoring option. And this team definitely seems destined to win many championships. 
because with Steph Curry's shooting brilliance and Giannis's dominance in the paint, the Bucks completely destroyed the Indiana Pacers in five games. Curry has to face LeBron's brand new big three in Cleveland. And even though LeBron lost in the finals in the previous season, he is still determined to bring a title back home and has way more playoff experience over a young Stephen Curry and Giannis as they hold a 3-2 lead. Game six will go down to the final shot. Uh, it looks like Kyrie's going to try to get it. Oh, he gets it. He's wide open. Misses. And rebound Middleton. Here comes Stephen Curry with it. Into Corey Maggette. He's going to pull a contested mid-range and miss. This time they go to LeBron. LeBron James on the perimeter. Looking to ice the game. Kyrie, another wide open three. This one is good. The Cavs take a five-point lead. Oh, great pass into Sanders as he gets an easy layup to go. Beautiful <coughs> beautiful stuff. Bless me. They're going to hold it down until the shot clock. No way it's Waiters taking these big shots. What am I watching? They go to Tristan Thompson. Blocked by Larry Sanders. We have 19 seconds remaining. I don't know if that's a... I don't, I don't like this. Get out of the perimeter. Tobias Harris gets inside and draws a foul. Kyrie misses a free throw. That was big. Milwaukee could end this game on a three and send it to game seven. Stephen Curry with it. Seven seconds here. Come set a screen for Curry. Three seconds. What is the play? One second. Curry open three pointer. And the Cavaliers take out the Bucks in six. Luckily, after winning an MVP, Steph is now a 95, and Giannis works extra hard with his goal of beating LeBron as he rises to an 86. And this would be by far Curry's best season yet, as he once again reaches new heights in 2016, winning the MVP, and Giannis for the first time averages over 20 points a game himself. And it's clear after having the experience of playing against LeBron James, this team has never been more ready to win a title. And for the first time, they are clear favorites to do it, as they only drop one game, advancing to the second round, and taking out the Raptors in five games. Facing John Wall and the Washington Wizards, and showing absolutely no mercy as they reach the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time. Going up against LeBron and the Cavs once again. And just like 2015, LeBron holds a small 3-2 lead. But Curry refuses to lose in six to LeBron once again. Stephen Curry driving inside. What a move. It's a one-point game here. One-point game. Here's Kyrie Irving. Stephen Curry on him. We already had this matchup before. Kyrie's going to drive in. Good defense from Steph as he misses. Steph, 10 seconds on the shot clock to double screen. Curry rises and hits it with the night-night celebration. It's not over yet, Steph. LeBron James on the perimeter. He's got Giannis on him. Kyrie, his three-pointer, misses. Giannis now on the fast break, going all the way for the layup. This duo is too unstoppable. Kyrie driving. Can't find it out to LeBron. He's open. 4-3. Keeping them in the game. Steph. Screen is hit. Curry's going to step it back. Misses the midi. One stop is all the Bucks need to go to Kyrie. Gets a good look for the midi. Misses the layup. I don't know why he didn't hold it down for longer. No three-pointers. And they are forcing seven here. Kyrie. 10 seconds left. Steps it back. Pulls a three. Misses. And so the Bucks force game seven. And this winner go home game goes down to the wire. Screen is coming from Kevin Love. LeBron James going to drive inside. It's blocked by Giannis. And here comes the Milwaukee Bucks. Looking to ice the game. Steph open in the corner. Misses. That would have been game for sure. Kyrie drives. Step back. Gets Reggie Jackson jumping as he misses the layup. Curry the rebound. Curry driving inside. Big bucket for Stephen Curry. The Milwaukee Bucks have officially made the NBA Finals. And they'll have to go up against Westbrook, Durant, and the OKC Thunder. Where the Thunder are hungry for their first title. And have a duo that's been through it all as they take a 3-1 lead. But Stephen Giannis refused to give up late in game five curry screen is going to be set steph pulls one and hits it big time three-pointer to set the lead to three westbrook with curry on him it's not the best matchup i'd much rather have somebody else guarding westbrook he is very strong but he's going to drive in on curry 
Take it inside. Good defense, though, from Steph as he misses the layup. Eight seconds on the clock. And he steps out of bounds. What a choke. Russell Westbrook with it. Screen comes as he hits it. Westbrook now wide open three pointer. It doesn't get much wide open than that. Russ has 38 points tonight. Curry though, hit three of his own. It's good off the bounce. Stephen Curry starting to take over in the fourth quarter. Here's Middleton guarding him. This is a good matchup. Please play some good defense. Chris Middleton, Steven Adams knocks it down. Keeping the Thunder in the game. No threes and the Bucks force game six and keep them in the series. 10 seconds on the clock here. Westbrook, a deep one, misses. That was an interesting shot from him. And so the Bucks stay alive as they head back on the road, using their momentum from game six and blowing out the OKC Thunder. They have a chance to come back from 3-1 late in game seven. Curry could be the first person to come back from 3-1 in the NBA Finals. Giannis Antetokounmpo in the corner into Middleton now. Chris Middleton can't find it, forces it up and hits it. Back out to McDaniels, seven seconds here, five seconds here. Westbrook wants it and he's gonna get it. Three seconds, two seconds. Westbrook contested three. That's great defense from Stephen Curry. And here comes the Milwaukee Bucks under a minute to go now in this game into Curry that's a terrible pass from Giannis and I think this is going to result in an easy slam dunk tie ball game Curry with Westbrook on him this might be the biggest possession of the game Curry for three knocks it down the biggest shot of the night here's Russell Westbrook he does not want to finish this oh what a move gets him leaning that is beautiful please don't let Russell Westbrook do anything crazy he might take a two he is he's going inside for the layup Getting a quick bucket. They really want missed free throws here. Russell Westbrook might take a quick one. I doubt he's going to hold it. Oh, never mind. He's taking another two-pointer. Russell Westbrook. Oh, he's going to Kevin Durant. That's contested. Good defense. Misses. Steven Adams a rebound. Back out to KD. Misses again. And so Stephen Curry and the Milwaukee Bucks become the first team to come back from 3-1 in the NBA Finals. As we enter the brand new Steph Curry era, Stephen Curry and Giannis received their first ring together. And this really is the Steph Curry era, as he continues to prove it, winning his third MVP in a row, while Giannis reaches the next level, making his first All-Star game. And also, an All-NBA third team. And for the first time in this entire simulation, we have a team that has a good shot at going back-to-back -back in the NBA Finals and our favorite to win it all, taking out the Washington Wizards in five games, and the Raptors are clearly not on the same level as this incredible duo in Milwaukee, taking them out in six, where for a third season in a row, they'll play LeBron James and the Cavaliers. And this season, it's the Bucks who hold the 3-2 lead, and they have a one-point lead late in game six. They are down one, a minute and 20 seconds. Here is Kyrie driving in on Curry. Tough shot is good. Here is Steph taking up the ball. He wants it. Will he get it though? Steph, great move inside for the easy layup. As he drives in, great pass to Kevin Love. Kevin Love up, misses. Stephen Curry steps it back. Three pointer for Curry, misses. Screen comes for Kevin Love. Kyrie pull up midi, misses. Rebound Michael Beasley. 10 seconds left, LeBron James, he's gonna rise for three, great defense though from Giannis. And I think this game might be over. And so it's back-to-back -back finals appearances for the Milwaukee Bucks. They're now one step closer to going back-to-back, -back, playing against a newly formed Warriors team led by Kevin Durant. And obviously, this Warriors team is nothing without Steph. And this is Curry's revenge series as he takes a 2-1 lead against the team that traded him five years ago. Game four will go down to the final minute. A minute and 30 seconds. Here's Durant on the inside. Giannis on him. Tough shot. It's missed. Into Curry now. Curry. It's blocked. Durant hits a screen from Anderson Verjao. Durant fadeaway three-pointer. Just misses off the mark. Steph out to Giannis. Great pass into Greg Monroe as he finishes an easy layup. Durant now trying to keep his team in it. Pull up midi. It's good. Curry looking to ice the game here. Screen is set. Steph gets a good look for three. And so 
The Milwaukee Bucks take a 3-1 lead. As this duel goes back home, a back-to-back -back run is quite literally destiny for the Bucks as they blow them out. And Steph and Giannis are officially two-time NBA champions, forever cemented in NBA history. As Steph and Giannis receive their second straight NBA ring, after losing in back-to-back -back years, something needs to change for the Cavaliers. And Paul George is traded, joining LeBron James in Cleveland. Meanwhile, Steph is now in 98 overall, with Giannis following him at a 93. And it's clear he's beginning to take the keys as he makes an All-NBA first team. Steph falling slightly back as he makes an All-NBA second team. Paul George playing his role perfectly in Cleveland, and him and LeBron click very well as they ball out together, sweeping the Brooklyn Nets without breaking a sweat. And the Milwaukee Bucks also sweep, and it seems obvious that these two powerhouses in the East will meet in the conference finals for a fourth time, because the 76ers are no match for this superstar duo as the Cavs breeze into the Eastern Conference Finals. And we have LeBron vs. Steph Part 4, where for the first time since 2016, the Cavaliers have the upper hand in this series and have much less pressure as they take a 3-2 lead. Game 6, going down to the wire. Big possession here for the Bucks. they're down 2. Giannis drives inside, it's blocked by Tristan Thompson. Darren Williams back to Kevin Love now, Paul George on the perimeter. Big possession for the Cavs, driving in, it's blocked. Here is Steph Curry. On a quest to a three-peat, he's got a very tough challenge ahead of him, though, obviously. Curry into Giannis Antetokounmpo. Kevin Love on him. Post hook. Misses. Doesn't take the three, but he drives in on Giannis. Great defense from Giannis as he draws the foul. This might be the last chance for the Bucks. Two-possession game. Giannis drives inside for the dunk. On the perimeter. Eight seconds here. Kevin Love sets the screen. Paul George. Great pass it to Kevin Love for the slam dunk. Middleton, this is probably the last chance he had. This game's over. They're taking it two. Wow, Darren Williams missed a free throw. Maybe Curry can hit a full court shot to tie up the game. Who knows? It's going to be Giannis, though, from full court. And the Cavaliers end the Bucks' run. They'll have to stop Kevin Durant, the Golden State Warriors, where it's actually KD, who is hungry for his first championship after losing time and time again holding a 3-2 lead. Game six, going down to the final minute. Screen comes from Tristan Thompson, under a minute remaining now. PG, great pass into Thompson as he gets an easy slam. Draymond is gonna come set a big screen and roll into Draymond. Draymond now gets an easy layup. This is getting interesting now. Oh, great pass, but it's stolen. That was way too easy of, I don't know what the hell that pass was. Now Kevin Durant with it. Gonna drive in himself and draw the foul. Paul George driving, steps it back. Three seconds here, picks up his dribble. Tough shot, misses. Kevin Love is there for the rebound, but he misses as well. You have got to be kidding me. If Draymond knocks down this free throw, the game is over. And Draymond Green of all people ices the game for the Golden State Warriors. And they are finally NBA champions. After failing to bring a title to Cleveland, LeBron makes his move to LA. And we are nowhere near done with this Bucks team. Sadly, Steph dropping to a 96, but Giannis keeps getting better and is now a 95. And it's clear the window for the Bucks to become a dynasty is still up very much alive. Because in 2019, Giannis wins his first MVP. Curry taking a step back and is now the second scoring option. And even after fumbling the three-peat, Steph and Giannis are still hungry for more. Playing a weak Atlanta Hawks team and shutting them down in five games. Continuing to cruise through the Eastern Conference as they take down the 76ers. Reaching a fifth straight conference final. Playing Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors. And it's clear Kawhi has reached the peak of his game. Taking a big 2-1 lead. And Kawhi wants to end this dynasty once and for all late in game four. Stepping back onto the Kupo, drives in, missing the layup. Kawhi Leonard driving, taking it up on Curry, who is the smaller defender and taking a one point lead. Driving in, he has a free path to the lane and he gets the and one. Inside Lowry, layup is good. We got a tie game. This is going all the way down to the wire. Giannis handling a lot of these possessions. It seems like he is the leader of this team at this point. He's gonna drive in for the layup. Nobody can stop a prime Giannis. Curry on him. 
Marcus is gonna come set a screen, and they are gonna not go to Kawhi. It's gonna be Lowry taking it in. Kawhi gets the layup to go. Nobody can stop anyone. Giannis looking for the drive. Can he get it though? Nailing it. What a play from Giannis onto the Kubo to take a two point lead. It's gonna have to be Kawhi taking a big shot here. Or maybe it's Lowry. Lowry on the drive spins and hits it. And now we have our final shot in the fourth quarter. 10 seconds on the clock. Giannis wants it. Will he be able to get it though? Five seconds here. Four seconds. Ibaka on Giannis. Giannis drives it. It's blocked by Ibaka. There's still one second to go here. They could get a last second opportunity into Brogdon. Brogdon for the win. And this game is headed to overtime. In overtime, the game still cannot be decided. Tie game, and we have one minute remaining in overtime. Giannis driving in. Great defense. Another block for Ibaka. And here comes Kawhi down the other end. Driving inside. Taking it by himself as he misses the layup. Trying to force his way up. It's not really working. Almost throws a turnover. Brook Lopez back out to Giannis. Four seconds on the shot clock. They need to hoist one up. Giannis hoists one up and misses Ibaka. Big rebound. And here comes Kawhi on the fast break. Uh, Kyle Lowry. The lob to Kawhi Leonard. What a play. Exactly 24 seconds on the clock. It might be Steph taking this big shot. 20 seconds left here. Lopez has the screen. They go into Lopez. He gets a good look, but misses. Rebound Toronto. Last chance opportunity. It's got to be Curry taking this three. Why wouldn't you take this three, Curry? You're shying away from the bright lights. And so Kawhi and the Raptors take a huge 3-1 lead. Kawhi heading back on the road and shutting down the Bucks. And the question all around the sports world is can this Bucks still be a dynasty? And Giannis is still hungry for it because he is now in 97. But sadly though, Steph suffers his first tough injury. And while he does have a dominant season, they lose in round one to Trey Young and the Hawks. After injury, Steph drops to a 94 with Giannis staying at a 97. And this team is still hungry for more championships as Giannis picks up his second MVP in 2021 with Curry returning back from injury and making the All-NBA second team. And this team is right back to being a favorite to win it all, going up against the Washington Wizards and completely sweeping them while they'll play the Boston Celtics. And while they have a solid team, they are too unexperienced for the battle-tested duo in Milwaukee beating them in a tough six game series. Playing against one of the greatest offensive trios in NBA history. And while this team is offensively gifted, their defense is very subpar as the Bucks take a 3-2 lead. Game six will go all the way down to the wire. This is possibly the greatest offensive trio of all time. And we're gonna have to stop them. Giannis has Kevin Durant on him. Screen is set for DeAndre Jordan. Durant fade away three pointer. Stephen Curry with James Harden on him. Huge possession here for the Milwaukee Bucks. Curry's going to drive in. It's stolen by James Harden. The Nets are going on a run. Kevin Durant now. Kevin Durant, pull up three. Great defense from Giannis to stop him. Big possession here for the Bucks. Into Giannis. Giannis using his height advantage to score over Kevin Durant. It's over. DeAndre Jordan sets another screen. Kevin Durant from the same spot. <laughs> Kevin Durant is cooking. Here is Stephen Curry. Eight seconds here. Wow, a legal screen. 13 seconds, one stop is all they need. 10 seconds here. Kevin Durant has made two massive three-pointers in this one. Four seconds, screen comes from DeAndre Jordan. Kevin Durant, another good look this time. He misses and the game is over. And after three failed seasons, the Bucks are back in the finals playing Booker, CP3, and the Phoenix Suns. And it's clear this duo is far too superior to the Suns as they take an easy 3-1 lead and completely blow them out, where Steph and Giannis are now three-time NBA champions. With three rings under their belt, if Steph and Giannis can go back-to-back -back twice, they will officially make the Bucks a dynasty. And Giannis is ready for the challenge. As he wins his third MVP in four years, Curry remaining in the All-NBA second team and cruising through the Wizards once again. And then the Hawks are no match for them, playing Tatum, Brown, and the Boston Celtics. And the Bucks have way more experience, and it's clear in this series, as they hold a 2-1 lead and have a chance to go up 3-1 late in Game 4. Here comes Brook Lopez setting a screen. Stephen Curry looking to tie the game! 
as he knocks down a big time three pointer. Brown has Middleton on him. Screen comes from Grant Williams. Jalen Brown, his pull up three. This one is missing. What is the play here for Curry? Screen comes from Brooke Lopez. Curry, he's gonna pull another one and this one is good. Once again for Stephen Curry, he's beginning to take over. Williams, oh my God, it's almost stolen. Derek White misses the floater. And the Bucks have a chance to ice the game. Here is Steph. Giannis has a mismatch. They go to Giannis. Double team comes. Giannis over the smaller defender. Misses. No timeouts for the Celtics. They'll have to hoist one up. It's going to be Cantor. Of all people, he misses the three-pointer. And the Bucks take a 3-1 lead. As the Bucks head home, they completely dominate the Celtics and are back in the NBA Finals playing against Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And this series is the chance to officially make the Bucks a dynasty as they take a 3-2 lead. Game 6 going down to the final minute. Down 3, Giannis Antetokounmpo with Aaron Goring on him. Half spin, great pass into Bambri. Tough shot! Cuts in. Brooke Lopez has his hands up. Good defense from Lopez, stopping Jokic. Jokic gets his own rebound and misses another layup. Steps it back. Giannis Antetokounmpo drives in on Aaron Gordon and gets the and one. Here are the Denver Nuggets. Milwaukee looking to win back-to-back -back championships for the second time. Jokic cutting inside, gets the cut, and finishes the layup. Aaron Gordon on him, stepping it back. Giannis drives in, side for the dunk, but he misses. Lopez the rebound. Oh my goodness, Giannis. Into Curry. Now Curry gets a layup. The Bucks need a stop desperately. Jokic is going to come set a screen and roll. Great roll. It's almost stolen. It is stolen by Giannis. And the Bucks have a chance to ice the game. Curry at the three-point line spins. Great pass into Middleton who gets a free layup to go. Can't find it. Two seconds. Looks like they've given up. And the Milwaukee Bucks have gone back-to-back -back in the NBA Finals for a second time. And so Stefan Giannis have officially built a dynasty in Milwaukee. If you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this one where I made Kai Sinat the best player in the NBA, or this one where I put every single finals loser into one tournament. Subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 100K.